Fireside Devos this week. Uh, I'm going to be giving you some of my favorite verses and principles that I've found throughout the Bible. Uh, my first one is this. In James 4, 8, it says, Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Now, you won't typically find this verse on a t-shirt or on a coffee mug, and that's because in its context, it's a lot grittier than most of those verses. It's talking about us repenting from sin and growing closer to the Lord. But the principle here is reiterated throughout Scripture. Our relationship with God is not like an on-off switch. It's instead much more like a dimmer switch. Revelations 3.20 says, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in. And John 15.5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Acts 17 continues, He is not far from any one of us. See, the all-powerful God is always here. The more we resist our sin and seek the Lord, the more he turns up the light and meets us where we are at. Sin is static on that line with our relationship with God. As we set up our camp in sin and defend it, the dimmer switch gets turned down and we find ourselves more and more in the dark. What is one or two things that the Lord is asking of you today? I bet you know exactly what it is. Take that step and he will meet you in it. I promise. You might not always like the answer, but you will encounter him. If you truly don't know what he is asking of you, or are confused by something that you've read or heard, take that conflict directly to him, and he'll bring resolution. That's why Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. There is one caveat here. You can't fake the Lord. He will not just play spiritual advisor where we ask and then do whatever we want. That's why so few of the prayers where I say, God, I will never do this again, if only you will ever get much of a response. Galatians 6-7 explains, Do not be deceived. God will not be mocked. He is Lord and won't bow to a lesser role. So this is one of the few times that you will hear me say this, but it's my challenge to you today. Put the Lord to the test on this. Earnestly seek Him, either through Bible study, or through talking with other Christians, or through prayer directly, and through those, you will find Him. I bet you, you will encounter Him. Until Wednesday, have a great day.